Hey there, hi there, ho there everyone. Welcome or welcome back to this channel. It's been a minute, but we're gonna do a trailer reaction. Sorry if I look like a disheveled mess. I just got home from work. When they launch these trailers, it's always at the least convenient time for me. Now today they released the first trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's. This is a horror movie based on a video game that I have not played. My nephew actually had to explain the mechanics of it all to me. Sounds like it's something to do with toys coming to life in a toy store. It sounds fun. I know it's got Matthew Lillard in it and that's pretty much all that I know, so I don't want to waste any time. Without further whatever, here's our reaction to the trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's. Hi, this is Mike. I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Yes. The security guard. Oh, is Matthew Lillard playing a creepy person? And I didn't realize PETA was in this. In the 80s with the kids. They shut it down years ago. The owner's just not ready to let it go yet. I, Matthew Lillard's voice. He's an icon. Oh, he's bringing his daughter to the scary place? Oh, it skipped for a second. Blumhouse producer of All Megan, yeah. To do is, keep is survive. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, where fantasy and fun come to life. Okay. And you must be a new security guard. Can I uh, help you, officer? Have you met them yet? Met who? Them. You gotta keep your ass in the monitors. Oh my gosh, they're huge. I thought they were toys. Those are life-size animatronic in the 80s, kids went missing. Monsters. The police searched Freddy's top to bottom. That's what's her face? I think. She looks familiar. That's why the place shut down. There are ghost children possessing giant robots. Thanks for the heads up. Technically, they're animatronics. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Bobby, go! <laughs> <laughs> Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? Oh my gosh. Okay, that looks, I don't know. I didn't realize it was Blumhouse. Blumhouse has a tendency to give away too much in their trailers. They show like everything. That probably showed too much, but it, it was done in such a way that I'm, I don't, I don't feel like I know what the hell is going on in a good way. Didn't know that PETA is in it. Hopefully Matthew Lillard has a bigger part. I'm recognizing the woman who plays the cop and why am I recognizing her? What has she been in? Meet me in the comments. By the time I post this, I probably will have looked it up, but still, if you know, Say it in the comments below. That looks fun. I feel like the vibe, you know, horror movies today, for the most part, the successful ones, I guess, the ones that, that people want to go out and see are the ones that have like that element of fun. And this definitely looks like it's going to have hopefully some graphic horror elements, but it, it, it looks kind of playful, you know? If you've played the games, let me know, is the music that's playing from the game, do you think that this visually is doing justice to the game? I really thought they were toys. I thought that toys were coming to life. Those are life-size animatronic machines with torture devices in their faces. I don't know, but looks like a good time. Side note, just in case you watched my live uh, from last night, and if you didn't, I'll put the, the link up above actually, but this is the outcome of us organizing the movies. Thank you all. I was asking for advice on how to alphabetize and where stuff should go. And because of you all, I 
actually love how this looks. Now, we didn't talk about stacking the movies like this, but it just seemed like the simplest outcome. Now, I'm putting this at the end of my video instead of the beginning of my video, but it's time for my obligatory plea. If you are watching this video and you're liking this video and you're commenting on this video, and if you love scary movies as much as I do, then please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you can be reminded of when I do these ridiculous things. In the description down below, I will also put a link to the preview of this weekend's movie reaction, which is the 2022 film Pearl. Thank you again, everyone, for checking out this video. I am Shut Up James. Goodbye.